Okay, today I'm going to show you how to program this sofa back time universal remote. You can get it on Amazon. I already have two, the Fire Stick and the TV already programmed in here. So I'm gonna show you how to program it with the, a different um, TV. Okay, so what you need to do, the first thing you need to do is get your phone and download the sofa by time app on your app store and then you just open it up you open up the app once it's download and it's going to ask you if you already purchased it or have it purchased well you have the remote so you're going to say already purchased and it tells you it comes with easy instruction what to press on your remote which will be the minus and the e so you press and hold that and when you press and hold that, it's gonna, on your phone, you should see connect. So you can hit connect. And now the remote is now connected with, with the phone. So go through the little steps that it may have. United States, what we need. So we just go ahead and click done for United States. And this is, what I already have on the remote, the Fire TV and the regular TV. So now I want to add a new device. So I'm going to add a, a TV. So I'm going to click on the add button. It has all your choices for what you can add to it. But since I want the TV, I need the manufacturer, you know, like LG is the brand name. So I click on that and then I'm going to type in LG. Okay, it came up LG, so I click on LG. Then it's going to ask you for the model number. So when you want the model number, you need to go to your TV and go to your settings or look on the back of the TV. If I go to my setting, I went to general settings and uh, I need to go to my TV information. When I click on my TV information, it has my model number up there. You see the model number? That's what I need to put in the app. So you can look on the back of your TV, but if your TV's mounted or something and you can't get to the back, just go to your settings and um, get the model number. So I'm gonna type in the model number, which is, oops, that's not, I need the numbers. I need four, three, U, F, six, four, three, zero, a dash, and then I need some two more letters, a U and a B. So once you get your model number in, just hit done. And then you can hit search. And then it shows you the device name. You could rename it if you want. Like you click on that and you can name it like whatever your name is or TV, whatever. But I'm gonna just go ahead and leave it as it is. So I'm gonna hit next. And as I hit next, the information is now downloading to my remote. See how it's downloading? So all the code from your TV will download into your remote. It's kind of cool. It's very easy to program. It's not like a lot of those other remotes. As you can see, it don't have a whole bunch of buttons on it that makes things confusing for you. So it should make it very simple and you just scroll to whatever device that you want to uh, use at the time. So it's uploading information to the remote and now it's all done. So now on my remote, I only had two devices, but now I have this TV now. And these are the button controls for this particular TV. So now that the TV is there, 
Let's test it. I'm going to hit the back button to get rid of the screen. I guess that should, or uh, maybe I need to go home. Oh, you got to make sure that you, that you own the device by those two lines. Oops, the two lines let you know that you own the device that you're looking. I was on the, the wrong TV device. That's why it wasn't working. So I'm hit the back button. Okay, see, when I hit the back button, it is working the remote. Okay, so now that that's done, let's program the fire stick. And then I'm gonna show you something about the fire stick. So I'm gonna hit done. And then I can add, I click on add. And I want fire TV for the fire stick. And it's gonna say fire TV. So I hit continue. Or you could change the name of the fire stick to whatever room or whatever you may have it for. Now, when you get to this part, it's gonna disconnect your remote so it can connect to the fire stick. So go ahead and hit next. And it's downloading fire stick information. Now it wanna pair with your fire TV and it tells you what you need to do. So you need to go to your settings on your fire stick It's telling you that so I'm gonna hit the fire stick. This is the fire stick that I wanna pair right here. So I'm gonna go to my settings and then I'm gonna go over to control and Bluetooth devices. I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna scroll down to other Bluetooth device. And there you go. You see the remote right there. So I just click on it. And now the remote should be paired to the to the to the thing. So when I come back over here, you see it has Fire TV right here. This is the one. So I should be able to hit the house button on the Fire Stick, and it should go back to the home page. Uh, back. It should. Uh, let me hit done on here. Maybe I need to hit done. Okay, so now my re remote is connected. You have to hit the done button. So your remote is now connected with the Bluetooth device. So now I can hit the house button. Let me point it at the thing. It never fails. It don't do what it need to do. Maybe you put it at the top. Let me try it here. The house button. Okay. Of course. Let me see. Sorry about that. Okay. Connect remote. Let me, this is asking me to pair the remote. So let me try that. So I'm going to pair the remote. Pairing. Connecting. It's okay. So after I paired it, it put the fire TV under the devices. I guess maybe you need to do that for it to kick in. I just got the remote, so I probably should, <laughs> you know, do more investigation before I try to make a video. So let me try the house button now. Okay, the back button. That's not good. One more time. Okay, let me look at the LG TV. Let me try the volume on the on the TV. Okay, the volume is working for the TV. So let me try the fire stick again. Make sure it's actually doing something. Okay, something. Okay. Okay. I used the original remote. Probably should have gave it a different name. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, we're having technical difficulties. I guess if it don't work, you can go into the thing and try it again. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you how to delete things and then we try this again. So I'm pairing the remote. The pairing is successful. So I'm gonna delete this one by clicking on that and I'm gonna remove the device. You know, you may have these kind of issues, so I'm gonna just go ahead and leave this in the video just in case to disconnect. Please navigate. Okay. So it disconnected, so it's no longer on my remote. Sorry. So as you can see, it's gone now. So I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna hit add, fire TV. I'm gonna give it a different name so I know for sure what it is because i already have fire tv on here so i'm gonna just call it fire so i know exactly which one it is so i'm gonna call it fire hit done and hit continue hit next and it says downloading so pairing with fire so i need to go to the settings on my tv so i'm going over to the settings again Let's try this one more time. Controller and Bluetooth devices is what we want. Other Bluetooth. Click on this one and it says device is connected. Press the three lines if I wanted to unpair it, but that's not what I want. Oh, I forgot to hit the select button. So after I do that, hit the select button, this big center button. Now it says device is connected. So it should be paired now. I'm gonna hit done on here, on the phone. Okay, your remote is now connected. Hit okay. I'm gonna hit back. So it says that my remote is connected. So let's see if it's connected. There we go. There we go, I hit the house button and it should go to the home page. So that's cool. Now, when you pair your Fire Stick remote, even though my Fire Stick remote have the volume button, see how I have volume control with the Fire Stick? But I don't have volume control on the new remote. So what we can do is we can make it learn the command. So what I have to do, Okay, let me go back to here. I'm a already purchased. Hit the two button at the bottom to pair it. Okay, so those are my devices. Now what I wanna do is I wanna click on the fire device since that's the one that I need to add these learning feature too. So when you want to learn the features, go to remote keys and it'll show you everything in red has a, a device for it on your for your fire stick. Now I want to learn the volume button. So this is the volume button up. So I tap on that. Tap it. Okay, and then this will come up, and I, I want to learn from the original re remote. Here's the original remote, and here's the remote we want to learn to. So all you have to do is say, learn from original remote, click it, and then on your original remote, have it in front of the, the other one, and I want volume up. So when I hit volume up, you can see how the uh, present keep the, holding the button till it says that it learned it. Okay, I, I might need to, let me put something under the remote so it can be up some. Volume up button. Okay, see, so make sure that it's got a good make sure that it, it can see everything good. It was laying down on the bed, so it wasn't really getting a good signal to learn that button. So 
I'll, let me do it again with the volume down button. Wait, hit cancel, make sure I got the right one. Volume down. Learn from original remote. Now this time I'm gonna hit the volume down. So I'm holding the button and as you can see, it paired. So now, and I did that, make sure that you're under the fire or whatever device you're doing. So now I should be able to hit this volume up and see it come up on the TV. Of course, it's not gonna work as usual, <laughs> but you should be able to do that. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll redo it again. I'm gonna redo the remote key, volume up, learn from original remote, hold the button, success. Volume down, learn from original remote. Success. Okay, so I'm gonna go back, back on this. So now let's see if it does it. There we go. So now I can press the button and the volume go up and the volume goes down. So that's how you can learn your devices. So hopefully you have a little bit, you know, straightforward and no complications like I had, but if you had the complications, that's just part of the beast, I guess, sometimes. So it's a pretty good remote. It's on Amazon for about $34 right now. You, It's normally about 40 something dollars. So it's a decent remote. And like I said, you can, scroll through here and i showed you how to delete things if you want to get rid of your device you just click on your device i don't really need it and then i just remove it confirm and now it's going off my device hit the back button i don't really i just did the tv just to show you how to use the remote confirm it's removing and now I'm back to where I was when I started the video. So good luck with your new remote. I'm sure you will like it once you get um, once you get it up and running. The keys can be a little bit um, touchy. You may have to really press hard sometime on them. I notice it, it may seem a little unresponsive sometime, but it's better than having three or four remotes. So there you go. Good luck.